doctors, dentists, optometrists, and other health care providers of the Army Reserve Medical Command are providing their expertise to assist the people of the nation of Belize. In May, approximately 30 members of the 7212th Medical Support Unit from Rochester, Minnesota, traveled to several schools and community centers. This is part of a two-week medical readiness training exercise, also known as a madrete. Major Alexander de Gazon was raised in Belize and comes from a long line of doctors. He actually attended this particular school as a child. Now he returns to Belize to assist the people of his hometown as a U.S. Army doctor. What we're doing today is uh, we're, we're trying to reach out to the communities and uh, we're seeing kids, adults, elderly patients, any, any acute problems, uh, and we're trying to care, take care of some of their chronic problems also, if, if, if possible. Uh, any, any major problems that we may find, we're not equipped to handle them, but we are trying to do referrals to the local uh, medical facilities in town. The most commonly dispensed medications included antibiotics, pain relievers, and treatments for pinworms and other parasites. During the MedRet Day, the 7212 examined over 3,000 patients, distributed over 300 pairs of eyeglasses, and extracted over 200 teeth. Most of these people are coming in for extractions, okay? If they're in pain, we're trying to get them out of pain right now. Um, we are dispensing uh, antibiotics as well as pain medication. We're also doing a educational uh, seminar for them also. Sugarcane is a favorite treat among children here, and Dr. Drake says it is a leading factor of tooth decay in Belize. Corazal District is primarily a community of farmers. Sugarcane, rice, and beans are the main exports of Belize. Chopping sugarcane comes with its own set of occupational hazards, some not as obvious as the razor-sharp blade of a machete. These farmers said that experienced cane cutters are not likely to cut themselves, but a novice with the blade can have life-threatening wounds on his arms and legs. Yeah, you have to know how to maneuver it correctly. Doctors noted jagged scars on many of the cane cutters, but another hazard is always present in this tropical country, the sun. The farmers rarely wear any kind of eye protection, and their eyes are exposed to the ultraviolet rays of the sun for up to 12 hours per day. This is an area that's uh, usually uh, very frequently seen what we call pterygium because in the equator zone, patients have a little growth on their eye that many times can cover it and affect their vision. And we also screen and refer them out for, for proper care and surgery. And every other patient that walks in here has some form of growth. You know, it's either very small or advanced that needs surgery. Most medical care in Belize is free, but according to many Belizeans, receiving that medical care can be complicated by a lack of transportation, the cost of prescription medicines, and the availability of clinical specialists, such as dermatologists and endocrinologists. This four-year-old boy, Tyrell Sutherland, has ichthyosis vulgaris, a genetic disorder that causes the buildup of scaly skin, which prevents his skin from perspiring. His affliction covers his entire body, including the inside of his ears, and leaves him in constant pain. His mother, Carol McDougall, says that none of the local remedies have any lasting effect. Tyrell becomes resistant to the skin ointments within a month, and he's exhausted all available options that his family doctor has provided. It's hopeful that we, they can go through the embassy here and through the Minister of Health to get Tyrell the help that he needs. The only thing we could do is just hope that someone takes an interest in his case and helps him out. Second Lieutenant Manzanero, a doctor in the Belize Defense Forces, examined Tyrell and contacted his family doctor in the village of Libertad. There is a further medical care for him, but that is in the U.S. or somewhere else, something that we don't have here in Belize. So he will definitely need further treatment. At the end of the Medrete, the 7212 gained valuable experience treating a variety of conditions that are not prevalent in the United States. They worked alongside the experienced doctors and medics of the Belize Defense Forces and exchanged knowledge to the benefit of both countries. This is only one of a number of medical missions in Latin America. These annual exercises, known as Beyond the Horizon, have been ongoing since the mid-1980s. Reporting for the Army Reserve Medical Command, in Corazal District, Belize, I'm Lieutenant Michael Meyer.